Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to learn what is meant by activation energy. To explain activation energy, I have taken a simple reaction of hydrolysis of sucrose. Sucrose in the absence of enzyme undergoes hydrolysis to form glucose and fructose. Here sucrose is substrate, glucose and fructose is the product. Sucrose to undergo hydrolysis in the absence of enzyme, it needs 32,000 calories per moles of energy as activation energy. What is that activation energy? Conversion of sucrose to product requires energy. To st start the reaction, you need energy. That energy is activation energy. So, same uh, reaction is shown in the form of graph. In the graph, on the y-axis, I have taken potential energy which means stored energy, whereas on the x-axis we have progress of reaction. Progress of reaction refers to this left side indicates reaction has not started, whereas right side indicates if substrate got converted into product. Let us take sucrose as a substrate. Substrate, my substrate sucrose is already will be having potential energy in it in the form of chemical bonds. So, my reaction substrate, I, I won't be indicating such substrate from the origin since it has got already stored energy, little bit of energy, potential energy is there, reaction will start from this particular point. So, what I have written S yes is, it indicates substrate sucrose. Then product, substrate sucrose will demand 32,000 calories of calories per moles of activation energy then it will form a product. This is my product. Look at the product and substrate. When you compare substrate and product, energy of substrate is more, product has less energy in it. That means substrate has to lose its energy to form a product such kind of reaction where substrate is having more energy whereas product is having less energy is known as exothermic reaction. So, what example I am taking is of, exo is of exothermic reaction. Now, what is meant by endothermic reaction and how to indicate it in the graph? Look at this graph. Here substrate has this much potential energy. Look at the product formed. Substrate is having now less potential energy whereas product is having more potential energy. Such kind of reactions are endothermic reaction. So, let us uh, learn what is that activation energy. So, uh, activation energy as I mentioned substrate to form product it uh, demands certain energy to start that reaction. Otherwise, without uh, supplying energy sucrose cannot get converted into glucose and fructose that is activation energy. Why this activation energy is re required for sucrose? because of three reasons. First reason is sucrose will be having energy in its chemical bonds. Now that bonds present in the sucrose has to be broken to form product. When the substrate, so how, how it is broken? So substrate must absorb energy from external medium that energy demand is activation energy. After absorbing energy, substrate bonds are broken. When substrate bonds are broken, then the substrate will reach us an unstable condition called transition state. So, in the graph, this is the transition state. How transition is a state is formed? By ex absorbing the external energy, substrate bonds are broken to form an unstable state that is transition state. So, one reason why activation energy is required to required is to form transition state. Second reason is now the uh, substrate will be forming product. Product will be having new bonds in it. So, to break the old bond and to form the new bonds in the product substrate needs energy that is activation energy. Third reason why ener activation energy is required is substrate in order to pro form product consider this is the substrate it will be having um, unprecisely arranged molecules. Molecules of the substrate 
must undergo collision. When there is collision between the reactant molecule, chemical reaction will be more. When chemical reaction is more, obviously the product formation will be faster. Collision means the kinetic energy of the system should be more. To increase kinetic energy of the system, the substrate needs activation energy. So, I have written substrate molecules in order to collide and to increase chemical reaction, they need more kinetic energy. That kinetic energy is provided by taking up uh, external energy in the form of activation energy. Now, if you are using enzymes in the reaction, what enzymes will do is enzymes will decrease the activation energy and speed up the rate of reaction. How it is beneficial? In the living system, if you consider, there are thousands of reactions which are going on. If the reaction is not occurring without enzymes, then we would need lots of activation energy to form product. But since all our reactions are occurring with the help of enzyme, we need less activation energy. Therefore, benefit of having enzyme is it will decrease the activation energy. How it will decrease the activation energy? Let us understand now. First way is when you use enzyme in the system in any reaction, substrate will bind to the active site of the enzyme. Now, there is bond formation. A weak bond is formed between the enzyme and the substrate. When there is weak bond formation between enzyme and the substrate, the enzyme releases energy to the substrate. So, substrate already gets energy. Demand for activation energy decreases. That is the one reason. Here, when the uh, substrate and enzyme is binding, the transfer of energy from enzyme to substrate occurs. That is called bond energy. Hence, activation energy, uh, enzymes decrease the activation energy by providing bond energy to the substrate. Second reason why enzymes decrease activation energy is enzymes whatever substrate will be having various molecules in it, these molecules are not oriented in a proper orientation. No, there won't be proper geometry for it. Enzymes will arrange all the molecules in a proper orientation. As a result, molecules will get the proper geometry. Now, enzymes will increase the kinetic energy of the system. As a result, when the kinetic energy is increased, there will be collision between the uh, properly arranged molecules. Initially, what has happened without the enzyme? Uh, without the enzyme, there will be collision, but most of the collisions between the molecules will be unwanted collision. But now in the presence of enzyme, since molecules have been or uh, oriented properly, uh, Efficient collisions occur as a result, demand for activation energy decreases because enzymes are only providing little amount of kinetic energy orient by orienting. It will also orient the molecules properly. So, demand for activation energy decreases because of these three reasons, enzymes decrease the activation energy. As a result, hydrolysis of sucrose in the presence of enzyme instead of 32,000 calories of energy, it will need only 9000 calories per moles of energy. That's how enzymes by decreasing the uh, activation energy, look at the activation energy, decreasing the activation energy, it will speed up the rate of reaction. In the absence of an enzyme, you need more time also because the activation energy required is more, uh, also the uh, more activation energy is required. So, this is uh, about act concept of activation energy. If you have li liked it, please click the like but button. Also, subscribe my channel. Thank you.